Hi again, it's me, Cindy Jameson. Tonight, I'd like to make some chocolate blonde Kahlua toffee cheesecake brownies for you. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing my pajamas. Well, I am super, super excited tonight because my mom came over for the long weekend and we decided to have a pajama movie night for the kids. They are beyond excited and so am I, frankly, because I get to come into the kitchen and whip something up for us to nibble on while we watch our movie. In my large bowl, I have two-thirds of a cup of melted butter. And to that, I'm going to whisk in one serving size packet of instant coffee. This is going to add a nice, deep, rich flavor to our brownies. And since the butter is warm, the instant coffee is just going to dissolve in here like magic. Now I'd like to add two cups of brown sugar. These brownies are not low calorie, so for those watching your weight, I suggest maybe just sitting back and watching. So I have that all nice and incorporated. And I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, this is a brand new one. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, one, two. Now these are more of a blondie rather than a brownie, which means the batter is going to be a blonde color instead of a chocolate color. Next, we'd like I'd like to add three eggs. My mom used to make what she would call butterscotch brownies when we were growing up which is really, I think, just another name for blondies because these remind me very much of the ones my mom used to make. We'll whisk those eggs right in there. And these blondies are going to be studded with some semi-sweet chocolate chips, which is the chocolate blonde portion of our cheesecake brownies and topped with a wonderful Kahlua toffee cheesecake. It is going to be heaven. So our eggs are whisked in. Now I'd like to add two and three quarters of a cup of flour. And we'll just mix that flour in until it's thoroughly combined. By making a mess, I have flour all over my counter now. It seems to never fail. I always make my flour puff out of my bowl when I bake. I forgot to add in my baking powder. I hope this combines properly. That looks good. And now for the chocolate chips. I have one and three quarter cups today. And these are semi-sweet chocolate chips. So they're going to add a bit more tartness to our sweet brownie batter. So our batter is all mixed really well. And now I have a 9 by 13 baking pan. I've lined it with some parchment paper and lightly sprayed it with cooking spray. This will just make it easier to pull the brownies out when we want to cut them. I'm just going to scoop the batter out and now with wet hands I'm just going to press the batter into an even layer. This will help the batter from sticking to your hands as you're trying to get it into the pan nice and evenly. Here's where our chocolate studded coffee flavored blondie batter gets even better by adding Philadelphia cream cheese. 
I'm going to be using the regular version today. So I'd like to put 8 ounces into my bowl. I've softened this to room temperature. And to my cream cheese, I'd like to add 2 tablespoons of room temperature butter. and one tablespoon of cornstarch. This is just going to help our cheesecake mix thicken while it bakes in the oven. And I'm just going to whip that together. We have special movie nights about once a month here where we pull all the cushions off the couches and make a huge aisle into the middle of the living room and bring down a bunch of pillows and blankets and all pile onto there. And we either rent a movie or we watch one of the movies that the kids are really into lately. And it's just a great family time for us. And sometimes we have themed movie nights. Sometimes we have regular movie nights, but it always involves me cooking up some wonderful little treat for the kids and us. So our cream cheese, cornstarch, and butter are mixed thoroughly. I'm going to add one egg. And now to sweeten our Philadelphia cream cheese, one can of sweetened condensed milk. This will also help it thicken up in the oven. And now just to make this just that much more indulgent, one little nip of Kahlua. I call these little nips because it's just enough for a little nip of a drink. So I'm going to add three quarters of it in there. So I'm going to whisk this all together. Now don't worry about the alcohol. It'll cook off in the oven. So this will be perfectly fine for the children. So our cheesecake batter is whipped up nice and smooth and we're just going to pour that over our wonderful chocolate blonde brownie batter. And like I said earlier, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and this will bake in there for about 38 to 40 minutes. I almost forgot the toppy part of our chocolate blonde Kahlua toppy cheesecake brownie. I have half a cup of score bits, or toppy bits, and I'm just going to sprinkle those on top of the cheesecake batter. So our chocolate blonde Kahlua toffee cheesecake brownies were in the oven for about 40 minutes and I was just letting them cool for about 5 or 10 minutes and now I'm ready to plate them up. First thing I want to do is take my plate and just drizzle a bit of this nice yummy chocolate sauce on top and then we'll put our Amazing brownie right in the middle. Mm. Top it with more chocolate sauce and a pinch more of those yummy, crunchy toffee bits. The brownie is slightly chewy, it has a nice coffee flavor with that creamy, decadent cheesecake topping. This is going to be a wonderful treat for our movie night tonight. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to go tell the kids it's ready. Bye!